Hey, hello everyone, Paddington here. Welcome back. It's been a day or two since our last video. I have not made any progress on our 100,000 XP contribution in winning games since the maze top build video. So we got a lot of catching up to do. As far as characters that can get XP easily, I know the Vikings were just changed and I haven't spent any time relearning them. I know Abathur can soak quite a lot of XP, but the longer the game goes on, the better Ragnaros gets out of it. So let's see how much of this we can actually like chip away at today. That's the plan, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on the Infernal Shrines today. The friendly team is Ragnaros, Arthas, Chromie, Imperius, and Lunara. The enemy team, Valera, Cho'Gal, Tassadar, and Diablo. Cho'Gal without a support can be a little daunting. But of course, as we know, the later the game gets, the stronger Cho'Gal gets. So that kind of counteracts what we were, gonna, were gonna try to do, which is keep the game going for a little while. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Of course, the biggest thing with Cho'Gal is you never want to be behind on XP. So I'm planning on being here just for half a second. And then I am going to dip off into one of the solo lanes to grab that XP. We'll give a speed boost to Imperius, see if he can do anything with it. He walked right back through the entirety of that team. Valera is here. We'll go ahead and ping her with danger and go start to soak. Now this is going to be an E-build Ragnaros. It is my favorite build. Uh, it, it wasn't at the start, but it grew on me, okay? It grew on me. Uh, we can already push this into the tower right away. No one's contested it either, so this is free XP. And we could try to rush this down to the best of our ability as well. We're not going to get this whole tower down or anything, and we certainly don't want to stay with Diablo still missing. Do you think he's looking for me? Do we just go this way? <laughs> ah! We're fine, dude. We're fine. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Uh, Lunara getting free XP up top. Let's ping danger here. Valera was on the way up. Hopefully she knows that now. And I don't really have to walk into this wave to do our job. We can just let it come to us. Nothing to worry about. Ragnaros has fantastic lane clear and we'll just beat that thing up real fast. Diablo missing, maybe rotated. Maybe we should rotate. Imperius kind of low there, so it doesn't look like they were winning that fight. I don't think me being there is gonna change anything. Let's put it that way. Uh, what's his level one talent? He went for the soul bucket, so he is going to be pretty hard to push out of here. Is Chogon missing? Did he go back? I think so. Imperius back in the base right now as well. The enemy team did get first blood. Who was that on? That was on Arthas. Okay. Well, I'm not too worried yet, team. This is going to suck, but it looks like they messed up their combo, so I'm just going to walk out of here. I'm a little upset that my mercenary friends didn't hit Diablo, who was closer to him. But you know what? That's fine. This guy wants to tank tower hits. Go for it, my dude. So skin off my back. I'm just going to go back to the base really fast. Uh, he is rotating up here. They should be mindful of that. Nothing too much to report about, honestly, team. Pretty easy so far. We're top damage for our team, but not by much. This first objective should be pretty telling. I do need to go clear out that mercenary camp first. Uh, we are going to get slow burn. Our E ability is going to slow enemies that it comes into contact with. It's a nice added bonus, lets you weave in a couple more auto attacks here and there, but that alone is not going to secure many kills. All right, bottom lane is cleared. We are even on XP with Cho'Gal. Actually, a tiny, tiny little bit ahead. The friendly team is fighting over here. Imperius once again, looking like he's in a bit of trouble. Let's give him a speed boost. Let's try to break this Valera out of stealth. We were successful in both of those things and Imperius is going to live another day. We might go ahead and use our Molten Core here. I kind of don't want to, but uh, we can certainly poke at these guys. And because they don't have a support, any damage we deal with this is way more meaningful than normal. So this Diablo here who's taking a lot of punishment, he's gonna feel that punishment. 
There's no getting rid of that punishment. All the damage that we're doing is going to stick. The enemy team is just a few minions behind us here as we are rolling in, but it looks like the friendly team was victorious and the first objective is going to go to us. Now, rather than pushing in with this thing, you know, I thought it was closer, I gotta be honest. And the first objective's going to us. There we go. It was just a second late, dude. Don't even worry about it. Rather than pushing in with this thing, we don't have our molten core to really reinforce the push, like if it was to get a building. So I'm just going to go immediately back to soaking and try to get this going in the right direction. Where are you going, bud? Um, I do wish that he was maybe top lane or I was top lane, but you know what? We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Uh, this first tower that we were hitting at level one is already at half health, so we can knock that out pretty fast. The Immortal not getting much further than the wall. So we've already outpushed the Immortal, boys. We've already done it. And if I can get rid of this sippy cup, I would really like to, although that doesn't really seem feasible anymore. We even see Cho'Gall making his way down to us here as well. I thought I mounted up, the mount never finished, so we are in a bit of a predicament here. Not if I do this, though. Okay, still if I do this. Yeah, we're dead, boys. That's okay. I keep finding myself in that corner trying to juke. It was inevitable that it caught up to me eventually. Level 7 is here, and we did pick up blistering attacks. Every 10 seconds, Ragnaros next attack against a hero deals 60% bonus damage. Hitting an enemy's with abilities reduces this cooldown by one second. Can we also pick up... Mm, do we want to try to throw in Giant Scorcher as well? 9% of Cho'Gall's health, 9% of Diablo's health can be quite a lot, but then we don't get the second boost of our E. Maybe we'll try it. Maybe we'll see how it feels this game. Lenar is still pushing top, keeping us ahead on XP. That's good. We can help Chromie clear this out really, really quickly. Uh, and then I'm going to go back to soaking my lane, boys. Nothing complicated here. We're literally trying to win this game with XP and nothing else. Nice pick up there, though. Valera has initiated. We're going to try to focus her down. I don't have any abilities to spam at the moment. Tassadar slowing me down as well. We'll give a speed boost to our Arthas so he can stay closer to the Diablo and get a meatball rolling with Diablo there as well. Unfortunately... Oh, I got him. Beautiful. Valera re-engaging. Can I get a root bed? Just turn. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're going to give him a speed boost. See if he wants to do anything with it. Fuck yes, boys. Nice job. Danced around that one, dude. Not bad. All right, we're going to pick up Lava Wave, and we're going to use Lava Wave to continue to reinforce our XP gain on this enemy team and try to stay ahead in every way that we can. Now, every lane's being soaked right now, so personally, I don't feel the need to use it. Once we move up for the objective, or once we start to see stuff like this happening, where it seems apparent that the enemy team is going to be rotating away from lanes... Maybe we'll start to use it. The objective is coming up in 20 seconds. That gives us a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and try to get this for the friendly team, which we do just fine. And I actually want to check the bottom camp here as well, because if they're on that, I want to stop them. Not everyone's accounted for just yet, so we might have someone here. I'm running late. Let's go ahead and push in middle. With the Lava Wave, this is going to bring our camp right up to the front line. And hopefully push down this tower pretty quickly. I might just stay down here and keep pushing, to be honest. We're getting quite the lead. I might be able to get us level 13 here. This is a huge minion whiff. Middle's getting pushed for free. I don't know, team. Do we give this one up? Is that stupid? Apocalypse was just used. If there was going to be a kill from Apocalypse, I feel like it would have just happened. It kind of feels like we're in the lead. How's middle looking? The mercenary camp walked up to the, to the fort, but it didn't get it down. They're completely controlling top, so the enemy team is going to start looking for me now. So let's just back it up. Good job, guys. Proud. 
Uh, on my way now. We have a lava wave in 60 seconds. We have molten core right now. Bottom lane we just got for free. Middle lane, it looks like we might be able to get for free soon. I'm going to push in middle right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roll the meatball! Okay, let's get away from Diablo. He, I'm still in combo range. I don't want to be comboed, obviously. Diablo's gonna have to go back up top if he wants to help the defense, so I feel relatively confident taking this. I don't think he's gonna impede me here. Although, you know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and give ourselves a shield with our E ability. Uh, bottom wave is still pushing. We can shove middle right back into the tower here. 13 on lava wave. They're doing all right, dude. Sure, we're losing Arthas right now, but don't worry about that part. Look at all this shit we're getting for free on the map, dude. Okay, it looks like they overstayed their welcome a little bit, but again, I'm fine with that. Look at all this shit we just got, dude. Look at all that. 82,000 siege damage so far. Beautiful. Well, I can't do anything else with these waves because we don't have any vision on the map. I am going to try to remove a little bit of their vision here just to say I did so I can roam around a little bit more freely. All the lanes are heavily pushed at the moment, so I don't feel the need to use Lava Wave at all. We'll just hang on to that. If there's a fight that erupts in lane, we might use it just to help out with that fight because I don't want to be I don't want it to be on cooldown for too long. Uh, but we also just don't want to use it for the sake of clearing out one minion wave either. Looks like the enemy team, he's taunting here. I don't know what that was about. He's turning around on Chromie. We'll give Chromie a speed boost, hopefully help out a little bit, slow these guys down as well. Lava Wave in the middle if they continue to chase. They are going to be beaten up by that Lava Wave. Is it going to be enough? Probably not. But you know what? We tried, boys. We tried. Diablo comboing me in the corner. We'll put a meatball on him, give our speed boost to Imperius, and hopefully finish off that kill. Okay, I'm gonna go back, we're out of mana. This fight is continuing, but I can no longer help because we need mana, so we're just gonna leave, boys. There's no shame in it. Now, of course, I could have auto-attacked a little bit, but a lot of my damage and burst potential comes from combos. I'm gonna try to keep controlling the map. We already have Cho'Gal at a level deficit, which is where we want them to be. So I'm gonna try to keep lane pressure up in every place that we can. The friendly team already has pressure on the middle lane. We lava waved the middle, or the top lane. The friendly team has pressure. We lava waved the middle lane. So that's pushing up to their walls as well. And they're losing those, surely. Steadily and surely. I don't know what the fucking phrase is, dude. Slowly but surely. The tortoise wins the race. I don't fucking know. Uh, we are going to try Giant Scorcher. I have to say, I usually go full E-build. That's usually how I play these out. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, Cho'Gal pretty far ahead here. I'm going to become a building if I can. Yeah, we're going to try to cut him off. Stun on Cho'Gal. Area of effect underneath him as well. He is moving away from me, but we got him. Yup! Yup! Okay, what's going on over here? I wasn't even paying attention. Looks like we got a kill on Diablo there as well. Tassadar overextending. Lava wave in a few seconds if they decide to stay as well, but it looks like we've won this one, boys. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, the mercenary camp we took over is still continuing to push. It's beautiful, dude. Map control is my favorite thing in this game. Map control is the best part of this game, my dude. It's so good. We see everyone on the enemy team, so I can jump in here really fast and they won't be able to stop me. That's a tower down. Clear this out too. Mount up and leave before they get the notice. Now I could go for this top camp. I don't know if I should. That camp actually takes a while to clear out. So I might just try to split push here and get this building for free. And then we can lava wave bottom because it looks like that's where my team's fighting. But like, look at this, no contestion whatsoever. I don't think the lava wave is actually going to help with the fight in any, in any, in any way. But we have catapult pressure for the rest of the game up here. So I'll take it. This is when the team gets mad at me for not being at team fights. Let's see if we can, oh, Valera rotating to me. I was too slow. We still got the Punisher, huh? 
Could it turn into Tassadar here? Man, I really missed that second explosion from our E. I actually thought the friendly team was pretty far behind on that objective after losing that team fight, but it looks like everything's fine, dude. Uh, Valera could have tapped by now, so we need to be aware that she's back on the map at a healthier life level. Uh, 65 seconds left on our global lane clear ultimate. And the Punisher getting in here doing some good work. Okay, let me mount up. I kind of want to finish off middle if I'm able to. If I can push this in, then they just have pressure in every lane. We're three levels up right now. That feels pretty good. Valera found me. Put our E up. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. We can become this building. Now, remember, while you're in this molten core, you actually do way less damage to structures and stuff. But I could still probably finish that building off. Indeed, we can. Uh, the core is available. Tassadar, Diablo, and Cho'Gall still alive. Ooh, that was really close to me. We could throw in a meatball. I can give a speed boost as well. But healing in this situation is not going to be super good. Four seconds left on our heroic ability cooldown. We're going to use that in the top lane to push out that mercenary camp. We don't want that to gain any ground. And with Valera respawning, we might want to leave. I just got a second charge of Lava Wave. Let's use this middle, and we can back up through this. If the enemy team wants to chase us down, they got to move through it too. I gave a speed boost to Imperius. I don't know if it's going to be enough. I'm just going to keep moving at this point, and these guys can deal with the lava underneath their feet. Unfortunately for Arthas, it was not enough to deter them from that area. 18,000 XP contribution, highest in the game by about 8,000. Tassadar bringing up his team, keeping them somewhat competitive with us. Uh, let's just go ahead and get full mana. We're done, dude. Talent build's done. Nothing else to do. We just got to win now. We've taken every building. We've done 141,000 siege damage. A little risky to take this camp. Uh, we see Chogol on the map. We see Tassar on the map. And Valera. Okay, so we could do this. Beautiful. I might try to shove out top as much as I can because the enemy team is currently so focused on the bottom lane that I don't think they're gonna move up here. Also, we still have two members of our friendly team down, so I'm not super worried about going to look for a fight at the moment. I'll push this out one more wave. We just lost vision of them. Cho'Gall's still pushing forward. No sign of Valera. Tassadar is on the way up to us. Okay, so I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Diablo's on the way as well. We'll juke this way. He'll never see it coming. <laughs> Oh no. Run! I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Meatball. Fuck, dude. I feel like Imperius just kind of watched me die there. Did anyone else get that vibe? I feel like that was fucking doable, man. That was so doable. The enemy team is catching up to level 20, and I am not going to be around for this team fight, so they are going to have advantage there. We want to save one uh, charge of our lava wave just in case the enemy team is able to actually get the objective. We want to be able to push them back with it. That being said, they know we have level 20, and they seem a little hesitant to want to move in here. Cho'Gall coming in with a wall behind him. Arthas just kind of watching. Hey, Arthas. There you go, bud. That was good. Imperius with the Impale is going to pick Cho'Gall off the ground as he was hoping to dash forward, and that is two members of the enemy team down. Lunara running for her life as Diablo is trying to trade into our hefty front line, and it looks like that's not going too well for them either. We are alive. Lava Wave top to reinforce this fight, although it looks like the fight is mostly over. What's the timing on our mercenary camps? 20 seconds, 33 seconds. Seconds. One minute. This one should be. Oh, never mind. Never mind. All right. So the friendly team is going to be able to get this objective. No problem. We see Taster on the map. We do not see Valera, but you know what I do see? 
a shit ton of minions about to hit this enemy core. So we're gonna lava wave nothing, actually. We need to make sure we don't die before our team gets here. So I'm gonna lava wave middle just to reinforce me. So I feel a little more confident standing here, but all of this is going to core. Chogal back up in eight, se three seconds, excuse me. And uh, I think the game will be over before he really gets here. The Punisher is arriving at the core right now. And once the Punisher's on the core, it's really difficult to get him off of the core. Uh, let's see if we can move away from Valera. She has the restealth here, but the game is over. So that's 23,000 XP contribution towards our quest. That's not a bad number. That's not a bad number at all. Tastar for the enemy team getting MVP. I do find that a little surprising. Not saying that I felt like I was a shoe in I just didn't see that coming, dude. I didn't see that coming. 47% of our team's structure damage is done. This Chogal skin is amazing. Whoa. I didn't know about that. That must be new. That looks sick, dude. He's, a tr he's the treasure goblin. That's amazing. All right, buddy. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.